several voter registration drives this past fall, and they were happening. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Well, folks, I want you to hear all the information. Oh, yeah. sir. One of the web issues that you mentioned, which uh, I find a lot of people confused on, and that is that there seems to be this myth that has been adopted widely by people from both parties as well as independents. If you lower the cost of federal government, you're going to lower your personal cost in taxes. And I, I feel this myth because repeatedly the, uh, the situation has been shown that that isn't happening. If you follow me. Because taxes continue to get cut on some of the highest income people. But even though the taxes have been cut, we haven't seen a, 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 a blossoming of the economy. And yet right. some people seem, seem to be a large majority of people that still believe this, uh, this wedge issue. If we lower government, reduce government, like Lady said, government isn't a problem in government, government is a problem. But people really still believe in it. Right. Well, and, and let's look at it. Right during the Reagan presidency or the George W. Bush presidency, did we contract the size of government? Did they shrink the size of government? No. What they did is they essentially shrunk the tax base and then, of course, facilitated large amounts of deficit spending through that. But you're, it's, it, I mean, it, it's unfortunately been a charade that the GOP has been playing for decades, this argument that we're going to cut taxes, we're going to shrink the size of government, we're going to expand national defense. Well, Put all of those together, expanding national defense. Uh, you're not actually shrinking the size of government, but you are contracting the tax base. Uh, these, they, they, this is unsound, unsound fiscal uh, fiscal policy. And also, it, it, it's an inability, I think, to respect the system effectiveness. Because often, when you cut block grants or you cut other forms of grants to local governments, uh, they are left to then try to what recoup that money uh, through other means. So again, I think those are uh, those are areas of, of, of strength for the Democratic Party historically and moving in the future. But you're right. Your, your assessment of how things are going to be is through these Republican presidencies.